Congress needs to get this bill to my desk as quickly as possible. Our economic strength is on the line and national security as well as on the line. Companies are ready to invest in America, in American communities, in American workers. But they need to see that their government is capable of investing in our future. Other countries are racing ahead. But we- All right, Biden, that's a joke. You're the first one to send jobs overseas. You're the first one to shut down the pipeline. Look at you. You're lost. How this man is the president of the country is mind-blowing. He's senile. He's got, looks like he's probably got dementia. Wait till you guys see what he does here. He goes to shake somebody's hand. There's no one to even shake his hand with. This is, this is hilarious, but it's also sad. What a fucking bum. Let's keep it going here so you can see what we can't afford to wait. Good part here. We can't so afford Congress, to wait. Get this bipartisan bill to my desk. Facilities that make high quality furniture. Above all, there it is. Who's hand is shaking, Biden? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wasn't someone supposed to be right there? Uh, Oh, what? Embarrassed myself again. Let's go this way. Look at this fucking guy. This guy doesn't even know where the fuck he is. Look at him. He's like, oh man, I thought someone would be there to shake my hand. What happened there? We talked to this person. They got their they got their mask on. So let's go. Uh, I don't got my mask on, but I make this lady have her mask on. She wants to be safe. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened? Look at my mark. That's my mark. Hi, everybody. How are you? Oh, yeah. My name's Joe. What's your name? <laughs> yes. So robot what? engineering and the science and uh, learn by themselves and become smarter than professors. And such as the inspection and interior of a pipe. And you can see from all that. That's our president there right there. And another Sleepy Joe be, fucking Biden. Fuck Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. This fucking crazy smile, man. He's our president.